and welcome to my Tarot Corner. Before I begin, please take a few moments to read my full disclaimer in the description box. This is a tarot reading. It is vibrational. It is open to interpretation. It exists as assumptions and speculation and as such may or may not be true. So please do your own research and decide for yourself. So today I'm using uh, the Universal Tarot. The first one I used was the mini deck. This is the Golden Universal Tarot. And uh, the reason I am doing this spread is because uh, ever since the Sussexes uh, said that they are uh, coming to the UK, the royal family it really tried to make them uh, feel uh, welcome and they uh, Charles invited them to be with him at Clarence house so they won't be uh, uh, they won't have to care about uh, uh, security they refused uh, the queen invited uh, the children to be at Balmoral for a sleepover, a big sleepover that I understand that this is something that happens every year with all the royal children. Uh, they refused. Uh, they didn't even bring the children with them. And uh, apparently uh, William wanted to meet Harry, but without Meghan. And because Harry refused, William decided that he's not going to meet him. So I'm going to look into, uh, once again, into the sibling issues uh, between Harry and William. And uh, this time I'm using a, another spread from uh, Sasha Graham's 365 uh, spreads. Uh, that I'm delving into this book now, although I have it for a long time, and looking into spreads that I can either use as they are or uh, try to, um, to modify them in a way that I can use them for the royal family. So um, let's start by uh, clearing the deck. And I have to say that I, I am shuffling all through the, the time that I'm talking. Uh, I'm not talking so I could shuffle, okay? So let's clear the deck. And let's start asking. So what are the issues between William and Harry? Why is Harry... Uh, unable to meet William without Megan, or are the issues between William and Harry, how does William feel about that, how does Harry feel? Okay, so this spread is done uh, for William as, uh, as if he is the quarant. And the first card is how, what the situation as it is. And the situation as it is, is the two of wands. Now, one thing about the twos. Uh, when we're talking about the uh, tarots, we have uh, uh, its cycles. Okay, so the major arcana begin with the full and end with the world cut uh, with, with the, the world card and then it goes over again it goes to the full once more and each time that the fool does his journey each time he goes up in the levels of uh, enlightenment uh, and like buddha says uh, you go up and up and up until you are able you are enlightened so once the fool finished all of his cycles then the next time he jumps off the cliff, he won't fall down, but he will float because uh, he has reached enlightenment. And then we have the uh, the suits, like the wands, the cups, the the um, uh, pentacles, and the swords. And all of them are starting with the ace. And the ace is like a round... Uh, 
entity. This is like the perfect, the perfect uh, air energy or the perfect fire energy. This is like the, the perfection. And then it breaks and we're starting with the two. And the twos are always cards that are asking for some kind of action. When we are talking about the two of cups, it's a, a, an action that a, a, the quarant should be the one who is uh, being the initiative, the one who is a, a, courting and not wait to be uh, courted so not be being the suitor and not wait to be uh, courted by someone else so it is a, a card that is calling the quarant to be active when we're talking about the suit of wands it's about going out on this voyage of uh, realizing your potential uh, and this is just the beginning of this voyage. This is embarking on this voyage. This is a beginning. So this is the situation as it is right now. Uh, there is a lot of uh, possibilities in the relationship between uh, Harry and William, but uh, despite the fact that they have a lot of history, the fact that uh, Harry married Meghan and whatever happened bef uh, after he married Meghan, uh, it, it turned the will backwards. And they are now at as if they are just beginning a relationship. This is what this card shows us. This card shows us that there is a potential, there is a big potential of a good relationship between them, but yet they are unable to fulfill that. So we see here a, a card that speaks about a, two people that, a, or at least one people that is blaming a, the other one for or uh, the fact that things are not uh, going the way that uh, they should. Uh, it also shows us that uh, there is a, a one side or two sides that need a, a psychological treatment that when we're talking about relationships. So which is, we see that uh, at least one side doesn't understand himself or doesn't know exactly what is going on with him and needs psychological treatment, has difficulties uh, with uh, everything that is connected with communicating with the other side. Uh, it shows that uh, that side is blaming the other side. And uh, this is a card that shows that uh, William feels that he's in the wrong place, that this is not how it should be at this stage of their life. Uh, they shouldn't be in this uh, beginning stage. They should be in a very good, loving relationship between themselves. But William feels that he is not in a good place with Harry. This is the wrong place. Uh, so it shows that uh, impatience, uh, from both sides because William is impatient with Harry and his shenanigans and everything that he's doing. Uh, we see tendency to leave loose ends and this is uh, probably more from Harry's side. Uh, we see uh, people that are performing uh, partial jobs and that can also be from Harry's side, not from William's side. But, uh, and once again, running away from the problem and this is from, I'm sorry, from Harry's side, not from William's side. So Harry is running away from the problem. Harry is doing uh, partial, partial jobs. Harry is leaving loose ends, but it all, it makes William feel impatient. He is impatient with Megan, he is impatient with Harry and with his shenanigans and with his demands, with everything that he's coming on. And this card shows us that they are 
back to square one. This is the best way to show, to tell us about, uh, to, to uh, describe this card. They are back to square one. They are back at the beginning of uh, this uh, em embarking on this voyage to realize the potential of their relationship. And if they are not going further on, they will never uh, uh, realize their potential, that, that potential of that uh, relationship. Uh, for this to, uh, for them to be able to realize the potential of the uh, relationship, they need to take the first step, and, and they need to try and go each uh, in the other way, in the other one's direction. Now, William did take a first step. Harry. Uh, refused. Harry was uh, not obliging to uh, to fulfill what uh, or to do what uh, uh, William asked. So William is trying, but Harry is still staying here, still looking at the globe, still thing looking at everything that he could have done or things that he can do, and still considering his uh, options and uh, still not understanding that you need to take one step in order to start that voyage. If you're still standing here, uh, you're not starting a voyage, and then you are not able to realize your potential, not your, not his own potential, and not the potential of that relationship. Okay, so the, first, the second card is how does William feel? And what I'm getting here is the Six of Cups. So once again, Six of Cups is a card of second chances, like all sixes. All sixes are speaking about second chances, and all sixes are the second uh, success or the second um, result in the, uh, in the suit. Uh, we have from uh, the ace, which is perfect, then the two, which is the first action, and then the three is the result of that first action. And then we have four, which is uh, the beginning of a second cycle, and then five, which is another action, and then six, which is uh, the, f the second result. And in the Six of Cups, we're talking about uh, getting out of your comfort zone and giving second chances. And this is where William is coming from. He went beyond, uh, far and beyond, uh, in order to try to appease uh, Harry, he has, uh, he was willing to see him despite everything that happened. He wanted to see him. He tried to see him, but Harry is not not willing to participate in this. So. William is willing to rectify the error of the past. He is willing to give Harry a second chance. He is nostalgic. He is thinking about how they were when they were children, how they were when they were growing up, about all of the things that are, uh, that are re he's reminiscing about those things, about the, the way that their relationship used to be. He wants to be able to go back there, but he is unable and he's really feeling bad about the fact that they are back to square one. So he was willing to do whatever it takes uh, it, except to wit, meet uh, Megan because he knew that he would never be able to talk to Harry if Megan is around. So he was willing to do everything except meeting her. He doesn't want to see her, which is uh, very understandable. So William is willing to do more than, it, no, more than ev anyone to rectify that error. But this card is also showing us that he is uh, dealing with a person that stays in the past, a person that is un willing to move forward, a person that is childish, a person that is 
uh, unable to learn from his mistakes, uh, a person that cannot get away from an unhealthy relationship, a person that lives in a fantasy world and runs away from reality. So this is something that is very important to uh, realize in this card because it shows us both sides. It shows us William's side and it shows us Harry's side. And why am I saying that? Because this card came for William, so the positive, uh, uh, the, the positive uh, attributes of these cards I am attributing to William and the negative aspects of this card I'm attributing to Harry. Okay, now the next card is how is Harry feeling? And the card that I'm getting is the Page of Cups. So the Page of Cups, that's a card of the artist. This is another card which is a Cups card. So Cups are about feelings. So we see that both of them have feelings here. Both of them have feelings to one another. Uh, what Harry is coming from, he's the artist, and the artist is someone, so this is what he wants to become, he wants to become this artist, uh, but this is a card that's of someone who is uh, in really need of a psychological uh, treatment. And this is when this card is in upright position. This is not when it is in the uh, negative. Uh, when this is, a, even in the positive card, we're talking about a person that is acting younger than his age because it is a cups. So he's acting young. Uh, he feels younger than he actually is, uh, and he is a person that needs a psychological uh, treatment, a person who has a tendency to, uh, for addictions, uh, a person that has elements that are not spoken about. So he's not talking about his real problems. So this is how he's feeling. And when we're seeing how he is, uh, what he, uh, he um, the person, the, well, how is William reflected in this card, uh, we see that they have communication problems. We see that both of them have emotional problems. Uh, uh, William himself also have uh, problems around his mother. This is not something that is unique to Harry. I, I don't think that ev and there is a, cha a person that lost a, a loved one, uh, and I'm talking from experience, uh, without the need to go to a good psychological treatment. I mean, I lost my father, I lost other loved ones, and yeah, there. this is something that uh, is staying with you. So both of them need emotional treatment. Uh, but this card shows us that uh, Harry is using, is using that uh, in order to uh, uh, get excuses for his addictions uh, and he is in a way uh, extravagant and in a way he is depressed but he's not talking about the real things so this is how harry feels okay the next card is how what does william see that harry doesn't and the card that i'm getting here is the six of swords so that's another six and this is another card of second chances. So, and this is a card of people that are uh, running away from a reality, running away from problems, and uh, going from uh, stormy waters to a, a to to a calmer water, or at least that is what they're thinking. This is this card I got about for the Sussexes in my previous reading, as well. And I'm not sure which reading will come up uh, uh, first on YouTube, but I got this card today about for them 
both of them. And I said that it gave me the intuition about the fact that they arrived or they went to uh, Germany by boat. So they took a boat and they are now touring the world as if they are royals. But this is, a, this is what William sees. He sees that despite all of the second chances that Harry got, he still runs away from reality. He is difficulty to preserve. He has tendency to run away and not face his uh, problems. This is another card of addictions. This is a card of someone who is relaying on another person. And this is what Harry is doing. He's relying on Megan uh, and someone who is falsely believing that the situation uh, won't advance anywhere and be, uh, between them. So there is no way to correct their relationship. And this is what he believes. And this is why Harry has given up on their relationship. This is what William sees and Harry doesn't. So William sees that Harry uh, given, has given up. He doesn't believe that this relationship can resolve. He doesn't believe that uh, uh, they can uh, start f fresh and uh, start embark on this uh, uh, embark on this uh, potential. Uh, voyage or a voyage to make their potential come true so he doesn't see that and he's running away he ran away like he uh, that has done uh, before and uh, he is running away from those calm, uh, from everything that seems stormy to him to what seems calmer to him which doesn't necessarily is true because they were booed all the way probably they could couldn't hear the booze because uh, there was a ring of uh, security around them everywhere, but uh, they could see that in there uh, later on. And because I know that Harry uh, used to go all through social media in every tour that they did uh, uh, in the past, I'm sure he does that uh, in this tour as well. So this is. Uh, how, what William sees and Harry doesn't. Now, what does Harry sees and William does not? And what I'm getting here is justice. So, justice is has quite a few uh, elements to it. The first one is that well, Harry th thinks that he was not treated in a just way. He thinks that uh, William doesn't see justice, that he doesn't treat him in a just way. This is what William, uh, with this is what Harry feels. Uh, this is a card that shows us that. Uh, from Harry's point of view, he cut out everything that he believes is not helping him in his way forward in his life. And he believes that, that those were uh, the correct decisions. He cut out his family, he cut out his father, he's cut, he cut out his brother, he cut out everyone because he thought, whether it's true or whether it's false or not, he felt that he was not treated in a just way. And he felt, thought that this will help him go further in his uh, way in life. And this is about being very sharp, being very clear and acting out this uh, without uh, any any uh, feeling of remorse so this is a card of uh, court cases this is a card of even this divorce this is a card of dismissal uh, and this is a card of someone who is suing a lot so this is a card that really describes harry uh, but he believes that he did the right thing, that this was the just way to, the, 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 
the, the true way to get justice for himself and for his wife. And this is something that William just cannot see because in William's side and from William's point of view, those were unnecessary cuts. He could have uh, continued his relationship with his wife. He did not need to cut out his family. Uh, this is what William sees. This is what all of us sees. But from Harry's point of view, he couldn't go on uh, without cutting them out. And this is what we can see from uh, Harry's point of view. So the next card is what is truly possible for the true of them. What is pr truly possible uh, in their relationship? And what I'm getting here is the Four of Pentacles. So that is not a very good card. The Four of Pentacles is acting out of feeling threatened and because of that uh, being defensive. So uh, when we're looking at their relationship, it looks like both of them are feeling uh, threatened and because of that uh, they are acting defensive. Uh, Harry is doing that all the time. Uh, he feels that everything, he, everything that happens feels uh, like a threat to him. And he feels that he needs to protect his family. He, all, he has said that uh, clearly, that uh, he's afraid that his wife will be taken away from him, just like his mother was. So this is the fear the, uh, from Harry's side. This is how he sees things and uh, acting out of this uh, uh, um, energy leads to the five of pentacles which is destruction and failure and from Harry uh, from William he is also feeling threatened he feels that uh, the way Harry is acting right now and the way that his wife is acting right now, they are a threat to the royal family, they are a threat to the monarchy. So he's acting defensive as well. And this is why he was unwilling to see Meghan and to, to meet Harry and Meghan, both of them, he wanted to meet only Harry, he was hoping to be able to, to open Harry's eyes. But this leads to destruction. So their uh, relationship is en route for destruction because uh, both of them cannot uh, get out of this energy of feeling threatened, whether it is a true threat or an, a false threat threat. Now, in Harry's side, I believe that those threats are false, but I do believe that uh, the way Harry and Meghan are acting, they pose a true threat to the royal family and to the monarchy. Maybe Harry is give, uh, William is giving them too much of a consequence than they really deserve, but this card shows us that uh, there is no possibility for a good relationship for the both of them. And the next card is what action can William take in order to heal the relationship if there is an action. And what I'm getting here is the four of ones. So that is uh, curious because we started with the two of ones and we are ending with the four of wands. The two of wands is the beginning of the suit, and the four of wands is another card of embarking on a voyage to realize your potential. Both of them are the same with the same meaning. The difference is that the four of wands is about enjoying the road and not thinking about the victory. So when you are in the four of wands energy, you know that you are going on this victory quest, but you are enjoying the road and not thinking about the results because you know that uh, the victory is looming. The victory is uh, going is out there. So, what does it mean? It means that uh, he 
William needs to realize that no matter what is the results, he needs to try and uh, devour or enjoy what he's doing right now, uh, regardless of the results. Uh, try to uh, connect with his brother and try to go on connecting with his brother, even if uh, he is not seeing any results right now. Uh, this card is calling him to sacrifice for the cause. So to realize that maybe he will have to sacrifice something in order to uh, fix that relationship. Uh, this is uh, sacrificing the present for the future because right now you are not thinking about what will happen, but you are sacrificing your present because you know that you will win in the future. Uh, so. This is what what this card is telling him, to enjoy the moment, enjoy what he can, and uh, to realize that he might need to sacrifice uh, some of the things that he thinks that he cannot sacrifice. Maybe he will have to meet Harry with Megan. Maybe he will have to do something. Maybe he will have to, I don't know, maybe uh, invite Harry to the Earthshot Prize. I don't know, find a way of uh, uh, doing something that is sacrificial uh, and without thinking about uh, the results and just trying to enjoy the road. Enjoy what he's doing right now and in the, in, when we're looking at the relationship between him and his brother, it's curious to see that both of these cards are four and both of these cards are showing us a, a current, a, a current uh, energy. And this current energy shows us a person that is uh, feeling threatened and because of that uh, being very uh, defensive. This card is a card of happiness, of marriage, of wedding, of uh, really happiness. But this card shows us a person that is embarking on a victory quest because victory is in a, is go, is in a William's card. He is going on a victory quest. Everything that he's doing, he will succeed in the end. He will be king in the end. So embarking on this victory quest, but enjoying the road. This is what this card is all about. And the a result of this card is the five of wands which is about getting that victory but asking for help so this card you can maybe even think about what kind of help because this is this has to be an unconventional help that will help him res uh, uh, get the victory that comes in the six of wands okay so this is the tarot this is how this uh, spread looks like and we, it's kind of uh, we have cups we have wands we have pentacles we have swords so and we have a major arcana we have a court card so it's kind of um, it looks balanced. Okay, so this is the tarot, and now I'm going to bring the oracle deck. So this is the healing with angel uh, oracle, and I'm going to try and use that and see what kind of energy does uh, William need in order to heal his relationship with his brother. Okay, so let's clear the deck and let's start asking. So energy for William to heal his relationship with his brother, energy for William in order to heal his relationship 
wait a minute, with his brother, if it's even possible. Okay, so let's see what we get. And the card that I'm getting is, sorry, Intentions. So what this card tells William is uh, your intentions create your experience. What, you, what do you intend to happen? Make sure that your thoughts and feelings reflect your true intentions. So, well, if he is, if he really intends to try and heal his relationship with his brother, he needs to think about that. He needs to really uh, focus about that and uh, concentrate his thoughts and his feelings to reflect his intentions and uh, realize that maybe he might need to... Uh, to sacrifice something in order to uh, make that happen, but uh, it might be uh, a worth worth his while. So uh, this is the energy from the healing uh, with uh, with the angels about William and how he can heal his relationship with his brother. So I hope you liked it, and if you did, please like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, leave me a comment, share the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.